Ah. Yeah, I don't. I know people are like, "Oh, Kennedy's great because he got NASA up," and I'm like, mm, "Wow, that's a lot." Sure, yeah, I did progress there. He he's not the worst, but he's not the best. <sighs> and most people are like, oh, well, he got assassinated and died for his country. And I was like, well, yeah, getting assassinated, a president does immortalize you, but, like, sincerely, it shouldn't make you a good president dying. <sighs> it's not like he, like, chose to give his life for his country like a soldier does, you know? Yeah, but I could, but I could die at any second too because someone doesn't like me. So. And now for the <sighs> this is play number eleven here on this drive. Hey. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down, and he finds a man. It's Olson, and he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Fake rub. What? The exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic, so anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from. What? What the, what the fuck just happened? And now nothing but green ahead of him. 30, the 20, 10, and he will bring it back. They just picked me off in their end zone through the most outrageous fucking pick. What the fuck ever? I'm. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And yeah. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position. What, am I just playing straight out offense on now? Offense. I think I am. A little bit. I think I'm just better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position, not try to take it. He dropped it. it. Sometimes the defense uh. is a good play too. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Breeze will try again on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, and it's third down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. 
I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing. I didn't think you were, I'm being honest. Touchdown number 18. There we go, Greg Olson. And the Bears get a bit closer. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it. Teddy's pretty good. Call, but he got it he had a big stick and he really fucking walked silently. Catch, wasn't it? That, was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in the end, the decision to bring it out costs him a few yards as he's out of bounds just past the 20. And Detroit getting set to go now. <sighs> yeah, apparently I'm just straight out playing this game now. That's, that's pretty interesting. What I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them. Oh, he got destroyed. going to do to attack us in the second half. Hold on. I got a reply. That we've had guys, but be prepared for some change ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions holding on to the right. ball, and they also have the lead. Breeze, you're going to have to come clutch here. Four. They'll come out in the pistol. On second down, Freeman. Oh, I got him. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Third and 15. He lost two there, and it's third down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offense. Four and 15. Like I'll take the punt metal return. The rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed. Yeah, you're right. The sink just wasn't there. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And take it right on the 30. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And Chicago! The Bears. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have doing for Greg Olson. Uh. They think they've got a good oh, inches? Game. Come on, Greg Olson got it. Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time. The Browns the just beat the Cincinnati. Uh, no matter what, you what really is Cincinnati? What you're doing. And I think that Bengals. Right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away <laughs> that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing. No! Intercepted. There he goes, left side. A great read, and it's picked off. Uh. Six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Barthon for the extra point. make this a three score game as the lead moves to 17. Yeah, I'm not so going to be able to get this. Offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. A chance for us to look at the Lions defense again. Left, 
Throwing on first down is Breeze. And Olsen over the middle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second down. Alright, well, I'm going to try to freaking get this. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On second down, here's Breeze. And the tight end, Olsen, right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now a play fake here on first down. And he rifles one incomplete. The Damn it. James Jones, the intended target. Damn it, James Jones. Down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. Breeze now. And now here is really? Fucking Breeze got picked three times this game. All right, yeah, no. This, I'm just going to sim it. Right, can I not super sim this game? To the 37 yard line. The interception was. Jump forward and a game. Yeah. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out. <sighs> Those freaking lines are good. Advance, auto upgrade. Yeah, nine and four. They're eight, four, and one. We should have kicked their ass, but we didn't. All right, going against going against the Packers. I should be able to pull it off. You like it better? I gave you a fucking bonus, dude. Truman. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. I didn't think you'd be up that high. Yeah, that's kind of where I'd put him. No, it... I I wouldn't put I would put a Truman above FDR. I just probably would have dropped FDR down to seven. Probably would have put someone else up there. Washington Lincoln. Hello, everyone. I'm So we drop you into the first drive of this football game. The Chicago Bears have it. <coughs> no, I do not like the freaking screens that our team has. We'll do the Y trail. <laughs> 